So around about two years ago, I passed the Azure Fundamentals exam and passing that certification enabled me to land a cloud engineering job. And I'm gonna tell you exactly how I passed the exam in only two weeks and how you do not need to pay for any courses. The only thing I do recommend you actually pay for is some practice tests. Now, of course, what you need to remember, this is a very easy certification. If I was to rank this on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the most difficult, I would probably give it a three. Now, bear in mind when I took this exam, I was working on on-premises environment, a very minimal hybrid cloud, so I didn't have much cloud experience at all. And even if you're someone who's completely new to technology and trying to get into the industry, I would still probably give this around about a four rating for difficulty. Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Tech Toby. I've been working in technology for 10 years now. And over the past sort of five to six years has been mainly engineering roles and over the past two years 100% cloud based. We're closing in on 1000 subscribers. My last video, the cloud engineering roadmap for 2024 has done really well. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you go over and watch that afterwards where I cover how to become a cloud engineer in 2024. Now let's jump into the Azure fundamentals and we'll actually load up the Azure learning websites and I'll show you exactly what I did. Now if you just Google the certification, it will take you over to the Microsoft Learn website where you can actually see what they will actually make you study on. So if we click on this link here, which is fully understand the skills measured, and we take a scroll down, and if we take a look at the skills, as you can see very much, it is just describe cloud computing, describe the benefits, describe the cloud service types, describe the Azure architecture and the services. So they're not expecting you to have a huge engineering practice of knowledge. They just want you to be able to describe what the cloud actually does. Now, what you need to bear in mind for people that aren't in the technology industry, this exam is also focused at people who are in sales positions, uh, service delivery management positions, just to understand how the Azure cloud works. So this is not a heavy technical certification. Now let's head over back to the website and I'll show you exactly how I studied for this exam. Now, as you can see, there are things you can do like the self-paced content. You can sign up for an Azure virtual training day or you could sign up to an instructor-led event, which I don't really recommend, especially if you have to pay for it, because I don't think anyone needs to pay to study for this exam. Now, if we scroll down to the learning path, you'll find here you have every single module you need to know to pass this exam. So you have the describing the cloud concepts, describing Azure architecture and services, and also describing the Azure management and governance. If we just take a look at this one, for example, so there's a bunch of content in here that you just need to read through these modules. There may be a couple videos on there as well and a few little practice tests. Now, once you've done that, what I recommend you do is you actually go and invest in some practice tests, but please, please, please do not buy an official Microsoft practice test. They're very expensive and you really do not need to waste your money. So I will show you what practice tests I use and recommend. So you wanna head over to Google and then just type in this practice with labs. straight onto there. And if you scroll down, you actually do notice that you should get a free test. There we go. So there's one free test on there, which gives you 30 questions. Now what you can do as well is you can pay for more, which I recommend, and this is exactly what I've done. So you wanna untick this video course, hands-on labs and cloud sandbox. You really don't need to be doing hands-on labs for this exam at all. And you just pay for the practice test. And as you can see, they've got a 50% discount off at the moment. Now, once you're getting around 90% on those practice tests, I would say you're ready to book the exam. The first time I went through all of the learning material, I was getting around about 70, 75% on the practice tests. Now, bear in mind, the passing mark for the real exam is done on a score, so 700 out of 1,000. When I passed, I got 830, which, you know, in percentage terms is 83%. So I was getting around 90% on the practice tests and I got 83% on the real exam. So as you can tell, the practice tests on WizLabs are very similar to the actual real exam. And WizLabs isn't the only one you can choose. You can also go ahead with uh, Udemy. But the Udemy and WizLabs practice tests are pretty much identical. So whoever has the best discount on at the time, I would probably just buy from either. Now, if we go back to the exam, if you're based in the United States, it is 99 USD. Now, I'm obviously based in the UK, so it's just 69 pounds. And you do the exam with Pearson View. Now, when I did my exam, I actually did my exam from home. So you can go to a person view test center in real life if you want to. Uh, but I did it from home. It just seemed more reasonable to do less cost, less commute time, less stuff to worry about. And I can just do a little bit of studying on the morning before the exam. And I'm pretty sure you can actually book the exam like on a 24 hour clock. So you could do it out of hours on the evening. You could do it really in the morning. You know, you could do it at 3 a.m. if you really wanted to. You just need to make sure when you're home that your desk space is clear and the area that you're actually in in your home 
there's nothing around that the they think you could be cheating with because they are watching you on a webcam it is a proctored exam so for my one like i did it downstairs in my living room and i have like a really large patio doors and my blinds were open they actually asked me to close the blinds just in case anyone would come up to the window and actually show me the answers which i think is kind of crazy but yeah i had to close the blinds I was actually quite fortunate as well because the company I was working for at the time had a few Microsoft vouchers, so I didn't actually pay for the exam, I got it for free. And for an entry level certification, it's pretty much a standard price across the board. And with this, I managed to go on and land myself a cloud engineering role working on Azure, which is kind of contradictory because at the moment I changed companies and I'm now working on AWS. But that is exactly how I passed the AZ900 Microsoft Azure Fundamentals exam. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, go check out my cloud engineering roadmap 2024. And please do like the video, it does help out. If you want to stick around, we are building one of the largest cloud engineering communities YouTube has ever seen. The past month, we have grown over 500 subscribers. We've hit 10,000 views on our most popular video so far, which was uploaded only around 15 days ago. And the love and support I've already had from you guys has been phenomenal. So make sure you stick around, there's big stuff to come in 2024.